And welcome back. Today is International Cancer Survivors Day. One in 600 children will develop cancer by the age of 16. In South Africa, only half the children with cancer are being diagnosed and many are referred in their late stages. But here to talk to us is uh, Audrey Ludic from the Childhood Cancer Foundation of South Africa and Zuki Mukwevo, who is a cancer survivor. Ladies, thank you for joining us. It's lovely to have you on the program. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, let's, let's begin off with you, Zuki, because it is Cancer Survivors Day. So I think it's important to, to get your story out there. T tell us about your story. Um, okay, Leanne. Um, thanks for um, intimating me today. Um, I was diagnosed at the age of 12 with um, chronic myelodic leukemia in 1995 and um, I was in remission for 18 months after three years um, treatment of chemotherapy, radiation and everything. Um, and then when I was in remission, um, I relapsed. Um, when I relapsed, my cancer came back and it was um, acute lymphoblastic leukemia to chronic lymphoblastic leukemia times two, yeah. whereby um, there were small chances of me living at that time. I had no options but to get um, to like a palliative, palliative uh, treatment on, on it. And um, so one of the doctors like took um, courage to go out and find to get some treatment for us. Um, and then I was um, very lucky that one of the doctors from overseas, one of the doctors from overseas came and um, found the files and there was a new drug coming through from overseas and I was sent to Jobic Jane yeah. to go and try on that new drug and it made wonders. Um, today I'm a survivor, I'm clear yeah. and I'm very excited about it. That this. is unbelievable. Yeah. That is a really amazing story that you, you've managed to come through this. Um, Audrey, what, what, what new advances are there in the treatment of cancer? Our doctors are part of an international team and there's been new bi um, antibiotics and also there was, there's a huge improvement in the specialised units. So there's, our children has a better chance of survival than what they had a few years ago. Mm. Um, so, yeah, a, a child with a cancer must be treated in a pediatric oncology unit by a pediatric oncologist. And mm. I think that is the thing that a lot of people missed because there's a huge difference between adult cancer and childhood cancer. Yeah, that, 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 that's a reality. And I think perhaps we need to, we need to differentiate between the two. Um, okay. You know, for instance, I mean, you were diagnosed in your childhood with, with leukemia, with a, a type of cancer, and yet in adults it is different. Mm. Just give us the distinction. Adult cancers usually use, uh, they get adult cancer because of a lifestyle yeah you, maybe you smoke you you drink too much you eat too much you don't exercise en enough and all our environmental factors where in children cancer develop in, is in the developing cells so it's a very curable cancer okay um, if treated early yes well that's the whole thing is that we need mm -hmm. to you need to get on it early because as we said in the introduction is that people they, they pick it up too late and then you know then it, it, it it's life-threatening for the child yeah. so what should we look out for I know that you have a list on your website yeah. but but just for for, for, for parents and yeah. and child carers watching what should you look out for in a, in a child we have this sense on early warning signs of childhood cancer it's um, Cilion is S-I-L-U-A-N so first is seek like S, seek for persistent symptoms. And what we usually say to the parents, if, if they go to a clinic and they don't, the treatment doesn't help, they must not go to another clinic. They must go to the clinic where they've been for the first time. Yeah. Um, second is, is uh, I, it's an I, but it actually stands for, for an I. Yeah. It's like a white spot in the eye, a new squint, or um, just... If a, a tumor in the eye, you can see it, the white spot. We have this, um, a test that we do. If you take a photo of a child and yeah. you've got the red reflex in the eye, if the one spot is white and the other one is red, that is for sure a, a, a symptom that you can look at. Okay. So it's S-I-L. L is for lump. Any lump must be looked after. Anywhere on the child's Adults, body. children, every, okay. everyone. Okay. Then U is for unexplained. Unexplained fever, unexplained um, pallor, unexplained um, loss of weight or appetite. Just unexplained symptoms that doesn't go away when they are treated. Yeah. Then A is for aching. 
aching bones, aching back. A child should never have an aching um, back. I mean, I w- I'm old. I get up with, with a backache every yeah, day. But yeah. children should not have um, aching backs. And then in neurological, that is when children start with slurred speech or when they start to walk into things or when they have regression of milestones. Now, these symptoms that I've told you now in about half a minute, we train people um, for an hour, three hours. Yeah. We are very worried that we don't reach all our children that we should. Yeah. Internationally, 150 per million children are diagnosed with cancer every year. In South Africa, only between 78 to 80 per million. And half of them die because they don't reach They're the treatment centers in time. Yeah. So Chuck has embarked on an awareness campaign about two years ago to train all the health professionals, the, uh, the doctors, the traditional healers, the home-based care workers, the communities on the early warning signs of childhood cancer so that people can be aware what to look out for. And I am so excited because we've trained over 3,000 people mm. um, in, the, in this two years. And there's been a huge increase in the number of diagnoses um, at our hospitals. We can see it in our bed occupancy. But the problem is we still don't reach our children in early to earlier stages or early enough. Yeah. So that is still a problem. Okay. I think you've given us a lot of... Uh, uh, I'm taking notes and I'm listening because, you know, these are, especially for, are we talking childhood? So, I mean, you've got to look out for these signs. I mean, sometimes, you know, walking into things, I mean, that's probably, you think that that's normal. Um, aches and pains, you think maybe they just hurt themselves while they were playing, but never take anything for granted. Yeah. That's what you're telling us. Excellent. Really be vigilant with your children. Yes. Your life, um, obviously now you, you're feeling well, Zuki, things are, things are okay. Living, living with it, do, do you still get treatments? Do you still go for regular tests? Do you, um, how's your life now? Okay, I just go for like, um, just to just checkups. And that's all that I go for, just to check whether I'm still okay and everything. But so far, um, I'm, I'm being cleared. Fantastic. Yeah. And your, your advice to people out there, you know, in terms of, you can survive it because a lot of people think that you can't. Um, I think Glenn, at that time before, like what when you start saying the name cancer, people think you're dying, and we try to say to people when you see, when you hear the name cancer, you mustn't think that you are dying. You can survive it. You can um, uh, conquer it. Um, we are there to support uh, the children, all, who, all the survivors out there. We're supporting all the children in hospitals and out in homes and everything that, um, that we support them so that they can be able to survive it, so that they can say no. Them, even the parents, yeah. we support them to say mustn't lose hope because yeah. we give hope to all the children in hospital. Excellent. Yeah. Just, just finally, Adria, I know that you, you said between 70 and 80 um, out of a million children are are diagnosed here in South Africa, which is quite a, it's quite a low figure, but like you say, it, it's the diagnosis and the early detection that's not there. Is the situation getting worse with childhood cancer in South Africa or is it getting better? W- what is the picture like? We hope that it will get better um, because we will diagnose more children. Yeah. But it, it's a given. 150 per million children will be diagnosed. Okay. It's, it's a scientific annually, given. Annually, that's, that's yeah, what annually. we look at. Yeah. 150 per million children. Yes. And we've, yeah, well, I, mean, I suppose it's tough to tell how, how many millions of children we've got in the country yeah. now. It's about one in 600. Okay. One in 600 children. Yeah. There's new statistics that's about one, it's, it's one in 408, but we work on one to 600. Yeah. It's also very difficult because there are, we sent our data to our data, to our tumor registry. To, um, to capture the data. So um, not everybody hand in their data and some doctors that's not supposed to, to treat children, treat children, treat so children. we don't get that data as well. Okay. What is your website, just before I let you go? It's www.choc.org.za. Okay. So it's choc.org.za. Yeah. you got all the information on there. All the information Good. on there. And we also really want to invite all our solid members, our survivors of childhood cancer, to, to contact our uh, divisions or to contact contact CHOC to become part of our solid team. Good.
Good. Thank you for joining us, ladies. Um, Adri Ludic, his uh, Childhood Cancer Foundation. That's uh, um, choc.org.za. Remember that website. Visit that address. And then, of course, the amazing story of Zuki uh, Mukwevo, who is a cancer survivor and is leading a very good and healthy life at this point. Thank you for talking to us as well. Thank you very much. All right. The time, 26 minutes past.